All right, this, uh, this is another installment of, what was the name of it? Why, why some roofs cost more? Why some roofs are better than others? Why, I don't remember what I called it last week, but this is probably one of my favorite reasons that, that we're more expensive than, than other roofing contractors. Um, I am, at a house that we have recently completed. I've got my fiberglass ladder right here. Uh, it's the sturdiest ladder out there. But this is, aesthetically speaking, this is one of my favorite upgrades or must-haves on a roof replacement. And it is the edge, the edge metal, the eave, the drip edge, whatever you wanna call it. We install drip edge, our edge metal, on all of our roof systems. It creates a nice finished look. You can, first of all, I've got the ladder at a very steep incline so we don't damage the edge of the roof. Um, I know somebody out there is gonna be like, you got the ladder on the roof, bro. That's bad work. Uh, I, I have done that in the past, but I don't do that anymore. I'm a changed man. Anyway. This is edge metal on a roof. So we've got a weathered wood shingle. This is GAF Timberline HDZ. And then our edge metal matches our shingle. Check that out. So we've got a crown molding fascia right here and it gives the roof a nice finish edge. It also protects against wind uplift. It, it helps keep bugs and, and water out of your, of your attic space. You don't want this space opened up, but this is this is not some some trivial piece of a roof system. This is a a major component of a roof. In fact, most shingle manufacturers will void a warranty on their roof system if you do not have edge metal installed. This is one of the reasons that we are more expensive. It costs extra money to wrap an entire roof with edge metal or eave drip flashing. So this has a this has an inch and a half profile that you can see right there. That's what you see, and then it, it goes up the roof line four inches. It is aluminum, so it is uh, rust proof, leak proof. We nail it. It goes underneath our our synthetic underlayment. So I'll, I'll make another video where you can see us actually installing this, but we've got, we install this first. If we're on uh, the, the eave of a roof, we install this first, and then we put our underlayment on top of this. And then we've got, we'll, we'll talk about this in another video, but we've got a self-sealing starter strip right there. And we've got our shingle on top of that. So the edge of the roof is very important for longevity purposes and it gives the roof a nice finished look when we're all done. So you can see that right there. We just got a nice finished edge all the way around. This, this house has about 350 linear feet of edge metal. And all of our roofs come with that. This is uh, one of my favorite components of a roof system because it's it's pretty easy to install but it it does take extra effort look how clean those lines look right there look at that that's not photoshop that's just a nice clean look it, it, it gives the roof just a nice a nice start or, or finished look i guess whichever way you you look at it i tend to look at a roof from from top down i don't know if that says anything about me being an optimist or a pessimist, but I, uh, to me, it gives the roof a nice finished look, even though I guess you, you start roofing from the, from the edge and, and then work your way up. Anyway, we install edge metal on all of our roofs. Extremely important. If you're in the market for a roof replacement, make sure your contractor is going to do that. It, it is going to cost more on this roof. We're probably looking at an additional four to five hundred dollars to install edge metal but it is well worth it if you're playing the long game and we play the long game at Guyette. this is billy with Guyette roofing 
one roof at a time. No roof left behind. All roofs matter. Let's go.